I don't know about you, but I love pecan pie. It is a really delicious pie. I'm gonna borrow it from our friends in America and I'm gonna make it very Australian by adding cherries. I've never seen this before, but I tell you what, the flavor of the cherries and the pecans work really, really well. The first thing we're gonna make is the pie crust. You need a food processor, go ahead and grab your flour with some sugar and some salt. Give it a quick pulse. All you're doing by doing that is really sifting the flour. You're just mixing it all together. Now don't overwork the butter because this has to be cold and you want little chunks of butter to be still in your pie crust. Now we pulse. Just like that. One, two. <laughs> I literally do this by counting. Three, four, five. You think I'm crazy, but wait. Six, seven, Eight, nine. I can count to 10, ladies and gentlemen. The reason I do it though is because I want that butter to sort of be in little pieces, kind of almost the size of peas. When you start rolling this, you're gonna think there's a mistake with it and you're gonna be like, oh, there's little pieces of butter still in there. It's gonna give a nice flaky crust that way and that's exactly what you want. Now, ice cold water, now this is important because this is gonna actually keep the butter, the integrity of it, nice and cold, which is gonna stop it from melting, all right? So make sure your water is really ice cold. And as soon as this starts to come together, you stop. Mm, one more, no more. Okay, recipes will tell you lightly floured surface. Take that literally. It's gotta be very lightly floured or not at all. I'm gonna turn it out onto my board without any flour at all. You effectively bring this dough together. You're not trying to work it. You're not trying to melt that butter. You're trying to keep that butter intact. Now, acting quite quickly, we're gonna get this back into the fridge again for about 30 minutes. So what you're doing is you're letting the butter get nice and cold again, and you're letting the gluten relax in the pie crust. So this has been in for about 30 minutes. You can feel it's nice and firm. So I always just flour my pin and then pick up just the tiniest bit of flour in your fingers and kind of flick it over the surface. You can see how I'm using just a very, very light dust in a flour. Now you're looking to roll this out about 35 centimetres or so. You want to get your pie dish. It's got to turn up the sides, but then you also need a centimetre or two hanging over the edge. So you want to take this down until it's about half a centimetre. Take your rolling pin, go ahead and roll your pastry back up. Then just pick it up and roll it back in the other direction. Feed the sides down into the corners of your dish. So you're sort of pushing down, making sure that you get in a nice thickness to the walls of your pie. So once your pie is looking something like that, that's exactly what you want. Any pieces that look a little too large on that overhang, you can just go ahead and trim. All right, now to crimp the edge, and I'm no crimping expert, I like my pies to look kind of rustic and homemade, but here's what I do. I kind of pinch and push, just like that. So I just use my finger and I just push in to the side of the pie and I'm kind of just pushing it with the other two fingers like that. And like I say, I kind of want it to look rustic and I want it to feel really homemade. Okay, so we're gonna freeze this or stick it in the freezer for 15 minutes or until the dough is really firm. So our pie crust has been in the freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes. You're not trying to freeze it, you're just trying to get the butter in the crust really nice and cold before we blind bake it. So what will happen is that blind bake will get beautiful and caramelized on the outside and still lovely and flaky on the inside. Now, blind baking. Listen, if you don't want to buy pie weights and if you don't want to waste your rice, I'm going to show you a little trick. What you do is you get a piece of baking paper and you sort of push it in, grab some forks, <laughs> now don't use your best silver, but you know, if you've just got some stainless steel forks, throw those in. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just gotta be good. And this is good. All you do is you throw it into the oven. I've got mine preset at 200 degrees, or you can do it at 180 fan forced if you like. It'll take about 15 minutes. Another little trick is I've preset a baking tray in there. And that way, as soon as this bottom hits that baking tray, it's in contact with something hot, right? So it's a little trick just to speed things up. Our pie crust is blind baking in the oven, so it's time to make the filling. It's really very simple. All right, so over a moderate heat, go ahead and throw your butter into the pan. 
see that starts melting straight away. Once it starts to bubble away, just grab a whisk or even a spatula and just disturb the base of your pan because that caramelization that's gonna start happening, you want it to release and you want it to start mixing through the butter. Mm -hmm. Now, a couple of things are starting to happen. The first thing that you'll notice is you'll smell something, right? And it just starts to get ever so slightly nutty. Next thing, it'll get really foamy and then that foam will go away. And that's when it starts to get really exciting because that's when that deep flavor starts to come. If you hear something, it's the cameraman's tummy rumbling because it smells delicious. You can see how beautiful and brown that butter actually is if I move it around and all of that sort of those little pieces of delicious caramelization, that is what we were trying to do. The smell is insane, it smells so, so good in here. It's time to add the sugar. Okay, so pour your sugar in and give that a whisk. You'll see that sugar will pick up all of that beautiful brown flavor. You can add your golden syrup. And your vanilla. as well as your bourbon. A fabulous sound. You know something good's happening in there, don't you? Give that a whisk. You'll let it come up to a boil and then we're gonna pour it over a few eggs that we beat with a whisk. It's been about 13 minutes since I put my pie crust in, so I'm gonna check on it in just a second. Add a pinch of salt. And as soon as it comes back to a boil, you can see it right there starting to come up to the boil. You pick it up, bring it over to your eggs and just pour a little bit in. So this is called tempering the eggs. So you pour in just a little bit so you don't cook them and then you can add the rest. All right, the filling's done. I think we'll get our pie crust out. <laughs> yes. Okay. Have a little peek. Oh yeah. What I do is while it's still, you can see how the air is still really in there. I just sort of push it back ever so slightly into shape. Now you can see the overhang has sort of grown down around. That looks beautiful to me. I love a pie to look like a beautiful rustic homemade pie. The next thing you do is you take your pecans and your cherries. Give them a little mix, just distribute them nicely. And then pour in your filling. Take your time, don't overfill it. Before you put your pie in, take yourself an egg, add just a tiny bit of water, give that a mix. And this is only if you want to, because I think it already looks beautiful, but if you want to, get a brush and this little egg Brushed around the outside will give you that perfect little glaze. Gives it a really rich, wonderful color. This, my friends, is looking good. This now goes back into the oven for about 10 minutes at 200 degrees, and then you can turn it down to about 175. So, my tart has come out of the oven. I'm just dusting it with a little powdered sugar. Oh, there's something about that sound. That crust is gorgeous and golden brown. Now for the fun part. Now, because of that little overhang, it's gonna break when I lift it up, but that's okay. It doesn't have to look perfect. It's just gotta taste really good. Oh. A little dollop of whipped cream. Now, don't forget, you belong to you, and you belong to me. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, yum. Hmm. A delicious cherry and pecan pie.